I received two phone calls today from Pioneer residents. Because I give up my number, they can call me easily when they have any questions. They, both of them asked me, they said they heard rumour that a piece of land in Jurong West nearby is your mark for a new foreign workers dormitory. Ooh. Ooh. I said, I don't know, I never heard anything about it. I'm not quite sure, but I don't think so. Okay? But it triggered me to think, if it is true that the ministers have a plan to use the empty piece of land for a new foreign workers dormitory, will our PAP MPs, will Mr. Cedric Fu fight, poop and kneel with these party leaders, with these ministers to move it somewhere else? Will he? Will he ask and fight and stand together with the people to say no to the minister? No! Yeah, correct. And or will he openly obey his ministers and sell you the koyo? Yes! Yes! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, man! Yes. Think about it, right? Okay. So, you think back. In this cooling day, next day, think. Who will be more willing? to fight for your concern. Thank you. Fellow Singaporeans, good evening. How many of you here are feeling powerful in this general election? Put up your hand! Thank you. How many of you here are ready for change? Thank you. I see the wind of change coming. It's coming from moving from companies, from Marine Parade, from Arjuni, Malbeta, and Wampo, from Ready Miles to Jurong, from Chachukang and to Pioneer. I see this momentum of change. And it is so strong in this election. Why is it so strong? Yes, God, God's will. It is because the people is tired. We are tired of seeing that things are not going right. Not going right for them, for their families, and for society. It is because we see the escalating cost of living has overwhelmed the many middle, middle income and the low income in our society. It is because we see the one million new citizens that came in in the last five years that have put tremendous stress and pressure on our families, on our jobs and our infrastructure. We had long waiting time in the hospital, crowded MRT station, crowded transport, crowded roads. The infrastructure is not ready. It is because we see the gap between the rich and the poor is getting too wide. And we see that the middle income in between is being squeezed, and squeezed until getting very dry. Right? Yeah. Thank you. The last five years have not been working very well for the people. Have it worked well for you? No! You, the people, you, you see it, that it is working well. Working very well for the insiders. Who are the insiders? No, not foreign talent. The insiders are the ministers. The PAP connected people! The part-time MPs. These are the people, the insiders, and you see that things are going very well for them. Am I right? Yes! But you cannot see how 
the growing economy is working well for you. Can you see how the focus of the government in bringing in foreign workers to increase the GDP is working for you or not for you? Not for you. It is suppressing your wages. Am I right? Yes! So, in this election, we are all tired, very tired of being told, told by the PAP that there is only the PAP, that only the PAP can save Singapore. Bullshit. You are absolutely right. Sorry? Okay. We are tired of always hearing their one-sided story. Right. From black, they can talk until it's white. From a dead cat, they can talk until it becomes alive. We don't want that. So, in this general election, we don't want to be told anymore what to do. Are you all with me on that? Yes! We don't like to be threatened anymore. My dear. My dear. And we don't like to be told to repent just because we are not voting for them. Yes? yes. Thank you. We want to make our own choice. Do you want to make your own choice? Yes. Thank you. And are you ready to make some change together? Are you ready to make history? Thank you. Together. Together, we move forward. Together, you and us. Together, we break the competition to the BAP. Together, we build a credible alternative to the PAP. Agree? A credible alternative to the PAP will seriously benefit you and you and you and the people behind too. Thank you. It will make them, the PAP, work harder to listen and to serve you. It will make them a more humble servant leader. And not be the lot of our lives telling us, dictating to us what to do. I'm sorry! Yes, and finally just come to election time and then say I'm sorry. It will also make for a more vibrant society, a better society, a more caring and compassionate society. So, the question I want to ask all of you here tonight, will you stand with us? Yes! Do you want change? Yes! Are you ready for change? Yes! On this Saturday, who will you vote? Thank you. When you go to the polling center and you receive your voting slip and your name and serial number is read out, suddenly you may get a bit frightened or worried. My dear. Okay. Or your heart beat a bit faster. Boom, 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 boom. What do you do? Yes, take a deep breath. Confidently walk into the voting center station and put a cross, a big cross. Where do you put a cross? Where do you put a cross? Where do you put a cross? 
Thank you. Enjoy the night.